Hey, it's the Master Iceman here at Columbia Ice. Um, I just wanted to talk about, you know, why I do these videos. Um, it's because I was a driver and the owner got sick and I had to take over running the equipment and I had no idea what I was doing. And I've sort of had to pick it up as I go. And I, I looked online and there was nothing online to do with the Hamer 540, you know, groups that I could find, no videos, nothing. And uh, you're always stuck calling, you know, Hamer. And at the time, there was really only one guy, Jim Danielson, who was able to give me good information on things, but it's kind of hard remotely um, figuring out what to do. Uh, I've kind of extend, expanded my people I can talk to. I, I, I deal with Mike at uh, AIS Systems, and he's great at talking to his techs and getting back to me. But a lot of this I've had to learn on my own and I don't necessarily do everything perfectly. And in another video in the comments, a guy got mad because I was talking about lubricating, um, not this particular air cylinder, but another one. Because the manufacturer will say, you know, if you put in a little airline oil, a droplet in, in, in one of these, it'll wash out their lubricant. And maybe they're right, but I had another guy saying you should add a little lubricant, um, a, a drop or two to your airline cylinders. On my JMC um, Master Baylor, they have um, one of those oil airline oil cylinders that, that actually adds oil to the airline, so you're naturally getting oil in your uh, your air cylinders, anyways. So there's a little bit of contradictory information in the way the machines are designed. Um, the what you do to airline cylinders, what people say, what the manufacturer says, and you kind of, at least for me, I've kind of had to figure it out on my own, but I don't believe or, or think that I know everything. In fact, I welcome comments. The idea is to create these videos and, and it creates conversations around the videos, like right here. This is um, the plenum assembly, the, the, the aluminum uh, where the, the air comes in through the top here. You can see it right here. This goes on top of there or when it's together. Um, here, this is what it looks like right here, right? And uh, I had an air leak in here and taking it apart is, is a nightmare because it's really hard to deal with, uh, what's this called, 474 red high temperature gasket. How do you get apart without wrecking this? And then how do you, you get it together so you don't have air leaks, right? And, and the idea on this video is just to create that conversation. So if you have questions, there's things that I'm not doing right, you know, put them in the comments, but don't be a jerk about it. You know, I'm not being dishonest and it's trustworthy. Like someone said, I'm a guy who circumstance said, I have to take care and maintain these machines and I'm doing it to the best of my ability, but I'm willing to learn. It's the Master Iceman here from Columbia Ice. Subscribe, comment. Let's have a conversation about the Hamer 540 and the different things that we've all had to deal with in, in maintaining and running this equipment.